Yo, what up, guys? Bacarda here, and today we're going to be checking out Mama Moo's latest EP album, Travel. And yes, uh, so just did Aya yesterday, and of course, going to check out the album. Uh, I've been listening to Aya a little bit. Uh, it has grown on me some, but still, you know. Uh, same thing as probably before. I think it's like okay, still, you know. Maybe it still has more growing to do, but you know, we'll see. I am going to check out a live performance of it. Um, in the middle of this however it's on mnet so yeah uh, i'm going to include my reaction to their live performance on google drive in the link in the description below if you guys want to watch it and i'll probably talk about it a little more in there but the ep travels so um excluding denga and aya we have four songs here so yeah um you know any music from mamamoo i'm gonna take it you know it's cool to see the four of them together again making music you know They've kind of been doing their solo stuff uh, this year. So now, finally, the group is back together. So let's just get straight into it. First song is Travel. Oh. Their opening songs are always really good. Like I said, really good uh, beginning song. This song just screams summer. Okay. Okay, really good like intro song, like I said. Um starting off the album great. That song to me it just screams summer. I mean, obviously uh with the title like travel and what it's talking about, you can literally picture like going on a drive somewhere with this song, you know, or just um being out somewhere. Uh the theme of the song, what it's talking about with the instrumental just just fits really well together. I love the lyrics, like what they're talking about, you know, just kind of getting away, traveling, you know. Um, 
I have to say, I really like Moonbill on this song, but they all sound amazing. I also really like Hwasa on this song. I think she sounds really good here. Her voice just fits really well with that instrumental. Guitars sound great on here. Just the melody, the vibe of the song. Um, everything just like comes together really well. There's not a whole lot to say about it. I mean, the song is really good, and um, you can kind of just like feel something from it, and, like you know, whether it be about traveling or wanting to travel. I mean, my God, I can't wait to travel again. Corona, you better get the fuck out of here soon. But yeah, like you know, going somewhere, you know, like they said, paradise or something. But just like going somewhere with people you care about, and you know, having a good time. I love that sentiment. It's like. Who couldn't relate to that? So yeah, really good song here. Okay, so I've heard Dinga and Aya, but I am going to watch that live performance of Aya, so that will be in the link in the description below. But the next song for us is Chuck. Let's go. Chuck. Is Chuck a person? I like how this is starting. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm just gonna say it right now. So far, favorite song off the album. To me, to me, um, I really like that one. Seriously though, who's Chuck? <laughs> Who the? F I love the instrumental on this song. I think it's so good. Um, little parts throughout it, like uh, at the end of the chorus when they're saying Chuck, that din, 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 that whole thing, uh, how it starts and everything. Ah, really like the production on this, but. Their vocals, Moonbill's rap, just ah, so good, so good. Even the lyrics and just what it's talking about. Like, like I'm joking, I, don't, I obviously don't know who Chuck is, some person maybe. But yeah, the whole thing about, you know, like a toxic relationship. Actually, carrying on from I, yeah. Okay, so it kind of makes sense, you know. Um, carrying on that theme, I guess. I loved, uh, and let me find out exactly the time. Where it is. Two minutes thirty-seven seconds is when Wayne and Hwasa 
are both singing together and they're kind of mm-hmm. they're like singing with the beat you know i really like that part there and i really like just the tempo of the song i just you know just going with it it's one of those songs you can just kind of like i don't know just like vibe with or just like you know go along with it's just really good like their vocals are great production is great lyrics on point um yeah this whole song is just like a hit to me yeah and chuck you fucked up (laughs) there's probably some dude named chuck somewhere who's just like freaking out yeah what's up chuck i see you (laughs) okay diamond let's get into it just said that chuck was my favorite song let's scratch all that this is my favorite song now okay diamond that was different that instrumental was just wow it's the most interesting instrumental on this ep so far their vocals and just how they're singing how they sound is just it's low-key like a mix of mysterious sexy and then low-key kind of scary a bit <laughs> it's it's so unique moon bills rap on this song is just yes and i literally said i was like i wish it was longer and then came back with the second part um she's amazing on here um Hwasa is amazing on here Wayne is amazing on here solar is amazing on here this is my favorite song on the ep now it is so good. Oh, I want to listen to it again right now. Now, uh, I agree with most of the comments. Uh, it does sound like Solar in the beginning. And like I think she's doing most of the English parts. Her and Wayne. Uh, but that's not an issue to me. I mean, whoever it is, it just sounds amazing. This song is just smooth, man. There's like a smoothness to it. There's this sensuality to it. There's this strange air of like mysteriousness to it um i just love it i love it okay last song good night let's get into it
really nice beginning. Oh, do you hear her on the piano? a beautiful ending song like a perfect closing track um instrumental is great the piano is amazing on there but really it's them and their like vocals and everything and just the lyrics too you know sentimental and like it just makes you feel something you know there's that one part between um where was it let me see it's the part where it's just her and like it's just her bare voice it almost sounds like a recording like from a phone or something or just literally like a you know like a camera that just like picked it up um it was so different but it was just like such a standout part of the song i really loved it uh the lyrics you know like i mentioned you know touching kind of heartfelt um talking about like you know always being by your side even if they're not there like you know just like really nice stuff. You know, I think given the times we're all in, you know, it's kind of hard to see people you care about, see people you like, and you know, uh, all our interactions are very limited, you know, except maybe the people that we're living with, you know, those who are really close to us. But other than that, you know, we don't really get to see people that much. So something like this, you know, hits a little more at home, just touches you a lot more uh, and just means a lot more. I wonder if they wrote that song, you know, in that vein, because uh, I feel like a lot of artists are doing that, you know, just using music to kind of like communicate feelings and emotions and whatnot, you know, 
uh, given this crazy time we're all going through. Um, I did feel like a sense of that through this song, and I, I, if that was the intention, you know, I really like that. But just as a song itself, it's very sweet. Um, it's just nice to listen to. It's a great, just like calming, um, almost therapeutic in a way type of track. Um, and their vocals, like I said, they just sound amazing. Yeah, this is really good. Ween kind of steals the show here. Um, yeah, n that's not a discredit to the other three members, but she really just kind of like had that one part in there, which kind of just like, you know, she kind of took the spot a little bit, but everyone sounded amazing on this one. Okay, so that was Travel, man. You know, these like shorter EPs go by really quickly, uh, especially when you've already listened to like two songs. So yeah. Um, okay, so favorite songs for me. Um, it's kind of easy. Diamond, obviously, number one. Um, I'll put Goodnight number two. And then it's between Denga or Chuck. I'll put Denga number three. Yeah, um, Chuck kind of number four but yeah um the only song that's still just okay for me is Aya you know but like I said you know that's not one I would skip I still enjoy you know parts of it and I think the more I listen to it the more I will uh, get into it also gotta give a shout out to Moonbill who participated in like the songwriting for pretty much every song except Diamond which is just like let's go Moon let's go there's a reason she's one of my favorite just female rappers but now just like all around female idols man she's so talented i really hope they do live stages of like you know um different songs on this ep you know obviously we have aya and dinga but like i would love to see a live stage at diamond yeah or chuck even uh yeah or even you know good night um yeah i hope they do like you know some live performances of these songs because they always kill it in those also i don't know if i mentioned it in like the music video reactions but Everyone's outfits and style for this album has just been on point, on point. Yeah, like when those teaser photos kept coming out, I was always just like, oh my god, yeah. Uh, they were on point as far as just looks with this comeback. All right, but that'll do it for this reaction, guys. Yeah, just another great EP from Mama Moo. Um, quality, as always. And I really hope, again, they do some live performances from these songs. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, as always, peace, love, have a blessed day. See you next time.